Well, I find myself in a bit of a pickle. I've arrived at the last town on the Mawson Trail, Lobbethorpe, Lobbethal. There's two pubs. Well, one's closed and the other one doesn't have any accommodation. There's no Airbnbs, no motels, no bed and breakfasts. So I'm homeless. I found the local oval and adjustment centre. I've just plugged in my phone and I found a power point that works. So I'm going to put the battery on charge because I'm only down at one bar. I'm going to put the battery on charge and just get a feel for whether I can do some discreet camping here tonight. I don't want to have to end up riding down to Adelaide now because firstly I won't make it, not with this, the way it is. So I wasn't expecting that. The, the literature indicated that the pub had accommodation. I've got news for them. Do you think anybody will notice if I pitch my tent in the centre of the oval? Well, I feel a bit uneasy about staying here. There's a, I heard a couple of blokes talking and there's a bit of a workshop just behind me. Um, and it could be that after business hours, people come here and start training and stuff. So I'm going to give the battery another 20 minutes and then I'll start heading towards Adelaide. It's not that far, it's probably less than 20 kilometres. But it's not something that I anticipated. I have budgeted for accommodation tonight anyway. I thought I was going to be sleeping in the pub. So uh, I'll find a place just outside of Adelaide and pull up there, I think. Because I don't think I'd yeah, I don't think I'd get a lot of sleep if I just pitched the tent somewhere at the back here. Oh, it's the local greenskeeper. That's that's the blokes who I heard in the uh, that must be where they keep all the uh, all the mowing equipment. So yeah, no, I won't hang around because I'll just end up getting busted. I think. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get underway and find somewhere else to uh, to sleep tonight. I think. <laughs> Every day's a new adventure. I saw a Mawson trail marker near the post office. I went in the post office and asked about accommodation and stuff because if anybody would know, it would be them. But anyway, yeah, I saw a Mawson trail marker leading down the side of the post office. So I know at least where to pick up the trail. And apparently this last section, well, it's my last section, but it's the first section if you're coming out of Adelaide. It's a real ball breaker. I'm going to have a, a really, really steep descent. 20% gradient, they reckon. So I'm glad I'm going north to south and not south to north. Imagine being greeted by that on your first day. It was cold when I left this afternoon. Lots of climbing up short, sharp gradients. So I'm starting to have the heat now. So I think the jacket's going to have to come off. I'm glad I didn't miss that marker. I've now turned off onto some fire trail. Lots of climbs. I'm hoping it ends soon. I don't quite understand. I'm at some mountain bike complex. But the signposting for the Mawson Trail is not great. You can't zoom in on the map enough to know whether you're on or off it by, you know, 20 or 30 metres. And uh, the exit is, is locked and barred, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Through there, and we just saw a marker 
trail marker, but I think it has me going off to the right. I'll have to back up. I think it has me going off to the right. No, right would have had me going down at that end. You would not want brake freight coming down here. And of course a loaded trailer doesn't help. Well there's a weir down there. And I can see a road on the other side. In fact I can see some movement, a car. You won't be able to see it but I can see the sun reflecting off it. I think that must be Gorge Road and that effectively is the finish line for the Mawson. So my guess is it's all downhill from here. You certainly can't get much higher than where I am at the moment. If I was a betting man, I'd say that Philip is ahead of me because there's that distinctive footprint of a uh, recumbent two wheel tracks equal distance apart the whole time. So my guess is he's ahead of me. And he was going to finish today, I knew that. Uh, good luck to him. Oh, I'm nearly at the end and they throw in one final obstacle. Which I guess is alright if you're on a conventional bike or whatever, but uh, yeah, normally if I've got to cross, normally if I've got to cross creeks or do stuff like that, I've got to yeah just take the trail off. Doesn't take long, but it's just another pain in the ass, you know, that you don't need at this time of the day. And this is the southern terminus for the Mawson Trail. There's no hoo-ha or, or signage to indicate that, but the, the trail starts here. And didn't I say I was following Philip? I've just bumped into him at the base of that hill. He's, he's cooked his brakes. He's, uh, I, I don't know if you can suffer brake fade on a, on a recumbent, but that's what he's done. He's cooked his brakes. So I'll catch up with him. And uh, from here, we, uh, the, you, you pick up the... Um, the bike path that follows along the Torrens River, it's about a kilometre down the road, I believe. Once I get there, I'll reevaluate my strategy and come up with a plan. But yeah, that's the Mawson Trail done and dusted. Thought I was following you because it looked like fresh tracks. Oh, yeah. That's the Torrens River just there that flows through through to uh, Adelaide and of course the ocean. Somewhere up here, about a kilometre down the road is a, is a turn off which will take me to a bike trail that follows the Torrens all the way into town. I don't want to get that far today, I don't want to get into town. I think I might be getting close. Oh, I must have missed the turn. I've gone way more than a kilometre. I was looking for it. I'll uh, keep going for a little while, pull over and do a nap check. It's a pretty dangerous road to pull up on at the moment. G'day folks. I'm a tourist, I'm a stranger here. How do I pick up that bike path? You know uh, what, we we actually had to like get across the river ourselves. So 
We actually just went across the river on the, uh, like over the rocks. But down further though, there is well, a spot where you can meet it up. There's somebody on a bike now. Yeah. I, I... Have I ever shot the runway? You said a kilometre. This is the longest kilometre I've ever known. Come on. I think you can make <laughs> I didn't overshoot the mark. Phillips sent me up the garden path, I think. All right, this should be uh, flat level and I guess picturesque and scenic to a degree. I'll uh, keep riding until I, you know, I'm in a valley, in a gully at the moment. I'm not going to try and climb out of this to find a motel, so I'll keep riding for a little while. It'll come out eventually somewhere, I guess. Well, I've left the bike path in desperation, looking for a room. I've rung a couple of pubs, but I don't have rooms available. So I'm just going to get on a main arterial road and wing it. I am having no luck at all finding a motel. I've been going along this road that leads into the city for kilometre after kilometre and nothing. I'm nearly in the city now. Uh, they don't accommodate for cyclists here in Adelaide, but, uh, a bit disappointing, I mean yeah, some of the roads have bike lanes but it's only certain times of the day, it's, I don't think they've evolved as um, many other cities around Australia or around the world, don't get me wrong Adelaideans, you know, I love you all but I'm just outside the city centre now. I've not booked anything in town because I expected to stay back there at that other place. What I might do is go to the, uh, the, the hostel that I'm staying at tomorrow night in the hope that they've got a room available. If not, there'll be no shortage of hotel rooms in the city. So, I mean, I've got a bit of daylight left. It's not that late. Well, I've come full circle. I'm nearly, uh, nearly at the hostel that I started my trip from. Hopefully they've got a room. Hopefully. Well, they've been able to squeeze me in. And it's got its own ensuite before I had to share a bathroom. Yeah, I'm familiar with the lay of the land here because I stayed here before I left on the trip. So all that means is to find some food and uh, settle in. Or I don't know how I'll spend tomorrow. I might just ride around the city or ride to the beach and get some drone footage or something. Be a tourist for a day. Yeah, and what was supposed to be a 25 or 30 kilometre day ended up being 68. Yeah, never saw that coming. No, just a couple of logistical things to sort out. I've got to uh, ship the battery back to WA. 
spent the morning sorting that out. Just got to run it into pack and send at Hilton. Yeah, sorry about that, it was interrupted. Um, so yeah, a couple of logistical things to do. I've, I've pulled the trailer to bits and cleaned that. The only way I know how. And uh, yeah, now I've got to take the battery to pack and send, a courier service. It's got to be shipped by road. I can't fly with it because it's too big to carry on the aircraft. So yeah, I'll, I'll take it to pack and send. It'll probably be in Perth in about, about a week or so. Can't complain about that sort of service. So yeah, once I've done that, I can spend the rest of the day just thinking about pulling the bike to bits. Well, now that's done, all I've got to do now is return to the room and uh, I'll pull the bike to bits so it won't take long. This ain't my first rodeo. And speaking of first rodeos, I always like to allow myself lots of time, both before and after these trips. You don't want to put out a pressure on yourself by running your timeline too tight, you know? Because sometimes stuff will go wrong. So yeah, allow yourself plenty of time, which I've done. I pull the bike to bits tonight and uh, I fly out tomorrow late. G'day mate, how are you going? Good, good. Alright? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm at the airport. I've dropped off all my gear and uh, checked in. I'm about to uh, board a flight and return to Perth. And you wouldn't expect too much to go wrong from here. So, uh, look, I guess if this is the final approach, you know what that means. See you on the other side.